Alrighty. Um, for shovel heads, uh, I did this one by hand and then uh, hand split the steel. Bit of a bend around and weld it up with a stick. But uh, the shovel, the, the head itself, the spade part, uh, I thought I'll uh, make a die. So I can sort of, you know, press them up or run them through the the air hammer, and um, all I've done is the uh, inside radius, which will be the lower part of the die. Um, got the material thickness here, which is to form the former for the outside radius, and then uh, when that comes off, the inside piece will sort of. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. It's all easy when it's hot, and when it gets cold, it gets hard again. Um, so there's a little sandwich. Like, like thus. And then all I'll do is... Uh, stick a piece on. Uh, on the lower die, sort of set it up. Or on, uh, actually, yeah, this will be the, the outside will be the lower door, the, the inside will be the top door. A um, couple of guides and um, it should form a round backed shovel head similar. Uh, well, that's the thinking anyway. Given as that was the sort of the width that I wanted to do it at. So, um, yeah, normally hand, hand form these out of three mil. Uh, you could call it plate as far as hand hammerings goes, but it's a three mil sheet, so they're fairly bulletproof. You quite easily stop your grandma swinging on the clothesline with it. All right. Uh, hope that was uh, of interest to somebody. But um, yeah, you've got your, your inside finish radius, uh, material thickness, and then you form your outside radius. Uh, stick them on a couple of bits of heavy plate, which will be uh, heavier than that. Oh, actually, probably about 20 mil, but a bit bigger than that. Alright, thanks for watching.